You know, I've only just now realized how short this game's little victory tune is. It's like 20 seconds. You hear it pretty often for it being so short. Okay, it's weird. We have we've had a lot of levels in a row without any explanation of any sort. I'm kind of missing having a story here. And this game does have a lot of plot, admittedly, for being a licensed GBA game. I'll give it that. And some of the cutscenes have been pretty entertaining. It's kind of funny. This game, and I mentioned, despite. <laughs> Certain things I complain about fairly vocally, like namely, well, really only the sound. Oh, and now the lag! Oh jeez, too many things on screen. There are a number of things this game actually does fairly well. Like, I'm not just trying to be silly when I talk about some of Jimmy's animations looking pretty nice. And if they don't control the best. Outside of sound and controls, I think this game is actually surprisingly nice. Music's fine, I guess, but maybe except for the one you hear the most, which is the victory tune. But I can appreciate things about it. And it's pretty alright visually, outside of just Jimmy. The levels look pretty alright, except for being kind of inconsistent about what you can and can't stand on. And then the redundant weapons I keep talking about. The sheer number of them. Jeez. So I guess I do have my gripes with the game, but... Oh, huh. The sound actually dissipates on the enemies. I hadn't noticed that before. It's a nice detail. Do other rays do that? What did I want to go across there? to not fall through and die. Great. Well, I can tell you now. I have earned my way. There you go. Across this pit. <laughs> I had no idea how long that drop was. I was expecting to fall, like, at least a few meters, and then <laughs> that was just, like, a meter or two at most. Oh, I, like, I can't walk through this, apparently, even though it's clearly behind the thing I'm standing on. How about we not play with that pit there? Ah, uh, see, this is why the shrink ray is good. I don't get pushed back towards the presumably bottomless pit. Can't really tell, and sometimes the camera won't even pan down until. Yeah. Sometimes the camera won't pan down until you actually drop down already. Got you! There you go. You play tricks with them and whatnot. Camera? What's your deal? Did you just not want to draw the thrust of the wall up above the screen there? There's some purple stuff here. Is this impossible? No, that's just really purple there. What's this here? <coughs> I do not know. I don't know what we're actually standing on now. You know, on the subject of weird random architecture and other such oddities that you only find in video games that are not really otherwise anywhere near some spell in real life, or even in the source material of some of these games. Cool. So I guess you want to do that somehow? Why have you done this to me, game? <laughs> really? Really? That was... a little questionable. I guess I should use my jetpack more. Which I have the impression is optional to even acquire. 
But I do like it when games actually provide an excuse for everything being all strange in video game esque. Oh, can I not get back there now? Wow, I did not realize that. Can I not do some clever flying or something? Can get that? Wow. Okay, that's kind of mean. Huh. I feel like that is kind of mean, actually. And I almost tended to go back and pick that up, but considering that I'm already here because of a fairly stupid way of having died, I guess I'll just leave it be. These stupid boots that make me just randomly fall slower when I'm close to the ground. Oh, come on, stop your contact damage. They make me more likely to get hit by an enemy. Like I just did. Okay, let me just get rid of this guy, I guess. If I'm patient. And by that I mean if I just fast forward the game a little bit. How about I can't Huh. Weirdly, now that I think about it, most of the things I have that attack enemies don't can't be aimed. The shrink rate can be moved up and down, but doesn't call enemies still. Can't get that up there, but got most of everything here now. Oh, come on. There you go. All those bits are a real pain, though, with how cheap they can be and how they just kill you instantly compared to. Lots of other things that otherwise... Whoa! In the same game. Might not be very threatening. Hey, I... Whoa. Interesting. Aha! Cleverness. Something that can actually... Uh, hit those guys from above. Alright, this is the same thing. Same thing as before. Stop that. Okay. Ah, keep wanting to jump and then use the jetpack. Doesn't that, doesn't that seem a bit more natural to you? Than having to use it from the ground? Okay, unfortunately, this is one of the longer levels, too. For having a boss at the end. to the end now, though. Or at least the boss, which, as we've seen, is not always the end. How much they confuse me. Cool. So what's the idea here, then? Okay, so the idea is just getting him to throw stuff at the wall. It's fine. It's a lot easier when you can fly. Oh, jeez. And when you can also consequently end up falling to your death. Don't touch the ground, man. Yeah, this is actually probably a lot harder if you don't have a jetpack. Ah!
I guess we're just throwing stuff at the wall specifically. It's kind of weird. There we go. Thankfully that happens to not hurt me. Ah! Jimmy! I do not doubt that it's possible to fall and die there when you lose control. In fact, I did take damage at one point because the game took damage from me, or took control from me. What did? Nothing in this whole game was hitchless at any point. Also, I like how there's clearly light coming from a different direction on, on Carl there. He just has a different light source than everyone else. Cindy is single pony dealing again. Oh, it actually is. Switch weapons, do stuff. Got her, go. Did we actually have a final boss? I was a little I was a little annoyed for a second there. I was thinking this is one of those things where all those times where there's actually a final boss that don't even tell you there's a final boss or anything. Did they really put me in this whole level again? Isn't this one of the earlier levels in the game? Oh. Is this actually where I should be going? Or is this just the game being weird? Am I actually supposed to be going this way? That's, that's the impression that I have now. The only way to get real answers is to go somewhere else. I mean, is there just a wall of death on the right here? Oh, uh, those aren't arrows, those are just broken windows. You know? They could be both. Is this guy supposed to be really threatening? Because I'm just kind of, like, running around ignoring him. I have some buttons here, I guess. It's cool. I guess those matter at some point. I guess we can just kind of take in our surroundings. Why can't I stand on that? This is definitely a place to keep some kind of east trade. Just up in the corner here. So presumably something will happen at some point here involving this guy. Until that day. Who gave me a bunch of snow to throw from? There's just randomly a bunch of neutronium to pick up, so why not, I guess? Uh, if it's here, I might as well. Maybe. I still don't know what it's for. Or anything else like that. So I like to only seem a little messed up, to say the least. And this house just seems kind of deconstructed. Am I not concerned about that? Let's see if this can actually save me time with how long it takes to activate. Oh, not that one. Not long I accidentally pressed the trigger. Zoom, Zimmy. Zoom, Jimmy. Zoom. You can almost get ahead of the camera, but you don't have enough time to do so. Okay, so presumably... Something we can use here does something. Take me you. I don't know, I just don't know why that doesn't work. Okay, you're impervious to the hamster. You know, so far you're really not that threatening. Can God not hurt you at all? 
Okay. All it, the only thing you really have going for you right now is random boss immunity. So I can kind of like slide off a platform using jetpack. That's interesting. Okay, well, we have buttons to press, so I guess we might as well do that. Boom, button. Just press all of them. That might be doing something. Can I unpress buttons or something? Yes, okay. I have no idea what this is doing right now. I suspect I missed Neutronium, but since I only have 19, I think they usually give you a nice round number. Well, this guy's not causing us any issues, at least. I have no idea what's happening. We'll figure this out next episode, I guess. Maybe.